let's uh, take a look at the sixth team here, and that, of course, is going to be the Sydney Swans. So I'm going to actually have Donnie start us off here. This Donnie. is your team. Give us your get, break. Get the Swan okay. supporter to start it off. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm 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 an opposite. I'm gonna I'm gonna start why they can't make it to why they can't why they mm-hmm. can't. I think they're in. I think a couple of injuries right now have hit at the worst possible time. Joey Kennedy potentially being out with a hamstring injury against this game, against GWS could be absolutely devastating, especially with the big bodies of GWS in the midfield with Ward, and with Tom Green. So I I think their injuries may be the reason that they don't go very far. But the thing though is the reason that they can is because this is just a team that. Nobody expected them to be there. This is a team that finished 16th last year. This is a team that's very, very young, considering I think at least over half of this team do not have any finals experience at all. So there's a ton of youth, a ton of young talent. Now, does that breed a championship? Not usually, especially here. But the way this team has played most of the season, you just cannot doubt this team. They play really well together. They have such good ball movement. They're very good defensively. So each game is going to be a test for them. But for me, the Swans, as as a Swan supporter, you know, I'll put my red glasses on here for just a second. Uh, the Swans right now, for me, I'm happy they got there. Whether they make, whether they go far in this finals or not, it is not really a big deal because nobody expected them to be here. This is a bonus for every game that they play in the finals is a bonus. But they're they're scary good when they're on, and the way Buddy played against Gold Coast, if I'm Sam Taylor, if I'm the GWS backline, I'm terrified because if Buddy goes the way Buddy can. OMG, they are so going to be so hard to stop because Buddy will draw defenders, which will open up Papley, it'll open up Heaney, it'll open up Wicks, it'll open up Hayward. And when you've got four, five, and six guys that can kick goals, that's incredibly difficult to stop. See, luckily there, though, I mean, going back to uh, GW and John, we saw Sam Taylor absolutely shut down one of the best goal scorers and, and the big guy, too, and, uh, and Tom Hawkins over there. So, He's going to need to. Be, he, there's going to be a lot of pressure on that that young man there in this game. He's going to have to play a big game, and if he's able to at least limit Buddy Franklin, that's going to prove huge in terms of the final score in that game. I agree. Sydney is a double-edged sword to me. I think, like you said, the the youth and the lack of playoff experience or finals experience is definitely going to catch up to them at some point. I don't know when because they do have a great team. Right, their hustle is going to be one of the hardest things to put up with because they'll outrun you all day long if you let them. I don't, really, I'm upset they matched up with GWS this first game. Even though I think it's going to be a great game, they're both the two wild card teams, in my opinion, that could make a run for the final, the grand finals. It's just, sit. Cindy relies, I think they rely heavily on Buddy because Buddy makes such a difference when he's on the field. And when he's off the field, it the ball, the the flow of the ball, well, the flow of the game is just so much slower, so much more unorganized. They, but because they're hustle, they can always make something happen. I, Sydney's just such a question mark. They're the biggest wild card to me, mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, the reason why I think Sydney can win the grand final, I think y'all pretty much. Talk about it. You have the buddy factor. You have just the superstar players that show up on time, and it just seems like they just know when to turn it up, like Papley and like Heaney. He's such a timely player that just seems to do things at right at the perfect time. And I always seem to uh, deal with a firsthand experience with cards. Like, these players fuck us up. You got Buddy, who just like like he can impact the game just in any manner. And Luke Parker, it's just I just believe in those players. Also, just the way I've seen as the season went on, the coach. He believes in the group. I went on to say earlier in the season that this team reminds me of the Phoenix Suns, how they mm-hmm. played this season. Just just the gritty team kind of written off, but have continually chugged and chugged as the season went on. And if they continue to win in the finals, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but, okay, the reason why I think they won't win it, I think you touched on it, the injuries. Uh, Josh Kennedy, I mean, that, that will hurt. I also think uh, Nick Blakey, he's been pretty damaging in the same way Lockie Whitfield has been mm-hmm. in this season, just off the run and carry and, the inside 50 kick or a kick to the midfield that need to be done. So um, I'm not sure. I, there's not really too many reasons to believe why Sydney can't. 
it's not. Dude. There's not really too many reasons. Except it's just up to them. Like you, I mean, like, it's really just the youth, bro. If, if they really put their heads into the game right. and focus, you yeah. know, all four quarters, don't let up at all. That's true. Can do it. I think Golden is very important because when y'all struggled, Golden wasn't really there, and, and mm-hmm. Golden's a player who can really bring you a lot. So I think yeah. Golden needs to show up. Yeah. And, and then another another person that I, I keep an eye on just because he has made an impact occasionally is Justin McInerney. He's he's a been he's moved back to the halfback line. He's kind of doing what Blakey did as well with that run and carry. Um, Jake Lloyd is another one that I mean it's it's impact players, but it's it, it's really is going to kind of come down to the matchups because there's possibilities. I've heard rumors Joey Kennedy may be back. We just don't know what his percentage is. And then could Callum Mills get up from his tendonitis and his Achilles? Mm-hmm. The, the, the the injury issue I think is going to be the thing. If Sydney loses, the injuries are going to kill them because in the in the in the guts of the field where GWS is very strong that's where the injuries are happening. Now, they potentially could have Chad Warner, but he hasn't played in weeks, and he's only right. been playing VFL or scratch matches. That's not AFL level, and the finals is a step up. The game always gets harder, faster, and more intense in the finals, and he doesn't have that experience, so it'll be really interesting to see. But I, it, there isn't a team in the finals this year that I honestly cannot sit here and say I can see why they can, but I can also see a reason why they can't. Mm-hmm. Right. Sydney, like you said, like Warner, if Warner and Golden both hold up their end and they both are in the guts in the midfield, I don't think it'll be a problem. Yep. And then also, you got to throw in the budget factor too, because that man is just eight goals away from 1,000. So obviously, we don't I want to see that, though. I do. I, I'm oh. trying to see that. Um, hopefully, not the expense of the Giants, at least. Uh, uh, I don't but, think he's gonna kick. I'm I'm a diehard yeah, Sydney fan. Not even I don't think I don't think he's gonna. Think if, he kick, if he kicks, if he kicks eight, GWS is in trouble. If he kicks say GWS better lose that game. Okay. But actually, GWS. actually, funny funny fact here before we move on, Buddy's biggest ever goal kick was 13. Oh. It's at the same stadium they're playing the game this round. Oh, oh Buddy no! Kicked thir- oh. Buddy kicked 13 against North Melbourne. At Utah Stadium, the last time he played there. Yeah. Well, uh, that's <laughs> a little bit worried about this game, uh, but it's going to be a fun one taking place at what? Um, it's going to be uh, one one twenty Eastern U.S. time. Uh, of course, Coach Johnny and Hesai, um, we're going to be staying up for that game because we get part three of the Sydney Derby in twenty twenty one. So uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a late night streaming session if you guys want to come along and. Uh, See us uh, either uh, one of us is going to be very happy, or one of us is going to be very, very sad. That's for sure. It's the rubber. It's the rubber match since they're a one-one. Somebody's going to get the win in the in the series this year. <laughs> oh, it's going. You to can be- run our uh, West Coast Carlton game back if you want to see me sad. So. Hey, <laughs> it's on our channel. Oh, go check that uh, one out, please, because I'm sure that's just. Uh, I always say, hey, hey, it's always fun, man. Like, there's plenty of times where you've seen me just emotionally distraught. You should see me like. Oh man, I forget which Giants game it was, but I was so depressed uh, this round. So oh. I, I had to go find it when it was. Oh, it, all I know is that it was tough. But let's roll. I had to talk that. him off. You should have seen me against Frio. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a bad one. But every AFL fan goes through this. Uh, so luckily, we're not all alone.